Here's a quick clip to show you how to use the tune shaders. First, after you've downloaded the pack you want to add the shaders to your asset browser. Find where you saved the file. Open the file. Switch to render view. You'll see all spheres in one sun. That's all the light you need for most of these. Turn on the grid. Click a sphere and go to the materials. I'll turn on screen keys. Right click the material and choose mark as asset. Then you'll see the little books icon. Note the outline shader is important to add a line to your shader. Mark it as an asset too. Repeat for all shaders. Then bring up the Asset Browser window. Go to Current File. Voila! You can organize them how you like. Save and go to edit. Preferences, file paths. Locate where you saved the shader pack file and add it. It's now part of your asset library. Now let's set up a new scene with a new UV sphere. Add a subdivision of 2 and smooth shade. Open your asset browser and open Tune Shaders. Add one to your sphere and switch to render view. Turn off your world lights and switch over to EV. These tune shaders only work in EV. Now add one sunlight. Double tap R and you can move it around.
but just your light to your liking, but I've set the shaders to react to a regular level 1 sun lamp. To add the outline, select the sphere and add a new material slot. Drag outline shader into it. Go to modifiers and add a solidify modifier. Check even thickness, uncheck fill. In normals check flip and high quality, then in materials settings switch to 1. I'll add a background so it's easier to see. Now you can see the outline. Select the sphere and adjust thickness in the modifier to adjust thickness of the outline. I left some undone so you can practice adding the outline. Now the three light tune shader is different. It can capture light from three different lights at once and you have control over the colors. First, let's change our sun into a key light, red. The shader is tuned to see only red wavelengths and it will affect the colors separately. Then we do a fill light and make it green. then our rim light will be blue. You never need to move the sun lights other than rotating them. For this example, you can see how the different wavelengths affect the color of the sphere.
So much control. Play around with everything. Have fun and share what you create.